channel because we need everyone subscribing to that. That'd be awesome. So yes, what have I got with me today? You ask yourself. This is the absolutely stunning new Inglesina Aptica AT called Adaptive Cruise. Now, this is, in my opinion, what the UK market has been waiting for. It is the product that is missing from the marketplace because we have so many customers who have outdoor lifestyles who want something that is more robust, that will go onto all sorts of different terrain, but that still looks really beautiful, that's brilliantly made, and that doesn't necessarily have three wheels because not everybody who has an outdoor lifestyle wants a three-wheeler, although obviously we do have those type of products. Now, Inglesina, you might ask yourself, who is Inglesina? Have you heard of Inglesina? You may not have heard of Inglesina, but Inglesina have been making prams in Europe for over 80 years. It's a still a family-owned business, and they make their prams in Italy. And I've been lucky enough to go to the factory in Italy and see the love and the care um, that goes into making these prams. And I always really, really love it when I can get a factory visit because it makes it much real. It makes it more real um, that you can actually see how these things are put together. So what have we got to show you today? Let's have a closer look at the Aptica AT. Now, basically, we've got videos on our website with the original Aptica. So if you do want to have a look at that, but the idea of developing this is that this is our all-terrain. This is the one that goes everywhere and it pushes absolutely beautifully. Obviously, it's hard to show you how easily it pushes. Look, look how easily. For an off-road product, it really does absolutely glide. Um, if we have a closer look at the suspension, because this is obviously really, really important. Can you see the suspension on this? It is just brilliant. But it's got some really clever, unique features. So the suspension has adjustable suspension points. Now you've actually got, and I love the detailing on this because all of these little features have gold fittings, which just makes it look stunning. So on the back here, you do have adjustable suspension, which you can adjust by lifting. And this will make your suspension um, different. So you can adjust it to make it harder. Can you see that now, how much harder it is? Now, that will depend on the terrain that you're going over. And also, as your baby grows, you don't want such a soft ride. Um, and also, you can adjust the suspension on front and back wheels, which is so clever. So clever. Um, if we turn it around, you can see that I've also got an adjustable suspension here. Can you see these? So we can adjust the suspension. It's quite stiff because this is a brand new pre-production model. See that? We've adjusted it and then and if we adjust it back can you see the difference in the suspension so clever when i first saw this and i was lucky enough to see this a while ago um in Kelowna, a baby show about well over a year ago i was so so excited because i knew that this is what we needed that we had this gap here um that nothing really covered but it's just taken a little bit longer to get it into the marketplace because of some weird things that are going on in the world at the moment. I don't so know what you could be talking about. <laughs> but anyway, let's have a closer look. So the handle height is adjustable. We've got these gorgeous bronze accents on all of the fittings. If I get my trusty tape measure, you know, I like to check the handle heights of these. Um, so this is, wow, this is actually 112, 130, it, that is really high. So when we did the egg two preview the other day, it was 111, this is 1200, it's even higher. So if you have got very tall customers, and obviously this will go all into Europe, it will go all across parts of Scandinavia, um, it has got a very high adjustable handle, but you have got multi positions on your handle to make it really comfortable, even for people like me who are only little, um, you could still make it really, really comfortable. And I do love, these little detailings. So let's have a closer look at our carry cot. The carry cots that Inglesina make are very special. They're very unique and no one else makes carry cots like this. There are so many features in this carry cot. And the reason behind this is um, uh, their philosophy, the Inglesina philosophy, is that this is about baby. This is about making it absolutely premium for your baby. This is about making it the most comfortable, the safest, the best environment you can for your baby. And this is where we come to inside of here. We have got our welcome pad. Now this is quite unique. It is patented. And this is also used in the neonatal hospitals in Italy. It was actually developed with them. And the idea behind it is it keeps the baby at an optimum position 
It's got 40 different breathable holes inside of here, and it also reduces flathead syndrome. Um, but this roll here, I don't know if you can see this in the picture, it was really hard to know how to demonstrate this, can be adjusted and moved down as your baby grows into a different section. And what this does is it makes sure that your baby is actually lying flat, but also with their legs slightly raised, which is the optimum position for their safety and comfort as well. And particularly in the first seven to nine weeks where it's really, really important that we keep their airways open, we keep their spine flat, uh, and you will see from some of the other videos that I've done how important that really, really is. So um, we put our mattress, before we put our mattress away, we actually just need to measure it. So the size of our mattress is, Seventy nine centimeters by about thirty six centimeters across. It is one of the largest carry carts that we have measured. Um, it is really generous inside. Now, also inside here, I wasn't quite sure how I'm going to be able to show you this in this video. Obviously, when we do our recorded version, we will do close ups. But inside here, we have got special ventilation. And you can actually adjust the ventilation. I'm not sure you can see it in that video, but you can actually adjust the ventilation. Can you see that a little bit? Um, it's really, really clever. Also, in addition to that, it has an adjustable backrest. So clever. I love adjustable backrest. So what we can do is we can literally just adjust it from here. And then it's got a little handle that pulls out. Can you see this little handle? If I sit it up, I'm going to pop my... Um, just that pop my wellness pad inside here. You can see now that we've created a little raised bed. I tip it up. You see that? So we've adjusted the backrest, and this still is keeping the baby's com spine completely flat. But if you've got a baby maybe who has colic, um, who has reflux, breathing difficulties, things like that, or when your baby gets a little bit older, because the carry cot is so generously sized. It does actually mean that you can have your baby sitting up and they can see what's going on in the world and generally what's going on. The inside of the mattress and the covers, these are bamboo lined. They're just beautiful and beautiful and soft. And then also if we go up to our hood, so we've got a really nice, big, generous hood. Inside our hood, pull out sun visors. We really like pull out sun visors. It means you haven't got to worry about putting on sun canopies and things like that. And obviously we know that a lot of our customers now who are purchasing are purchasing for the spring and summer next year. That's when we're looking for, and these are really, really handy. It also has extra ventilation on the back. If we turn it around here, you can see that we've got more ventilation here. And we've also got an extra zip here which gives us even more ventilation. So if you are, you know, obviously some of you will be having summer babies or your babies will still be in the carry cots in the summer. If we're lucky enough to have a gorgeous summer like last year, which was amazing, then we have this extra ventilation, which is super, super hand. Just zip that back up. I have a question from yes. Instagram. Is that the previous behind previous version behind you there? If so, the new carry cot looks bigger. Is that true or just looks like it on camera? Um, I don't think it is bigger, actually. Um, I, I think they are the same size. Um, I'm pretty certain they are the same size. But yes, you're right. This is the original model. Let's just grab our comfort pad out of here. We will find out for you because I don't know the answer. I think they are exactly the same size. I think it's just the... Um, yeah, I'm pretty certain that's the same size. I think it is just an optical illusion. I think it is the... Uh, the chassis that is the main difference so you'll see a lot of the extra same features on this carry cot that you would see in the original um, which is a bestseller for us so just popping back to our carry cot again just before we finish on this it has a really handy apron which is attached such a clever feature this i love this feature these two tiny little buttons one of the things if you're a parent trying to get your baby in and out really quickly this can fall on the floor we don't want things on the floor at the moment obviously we're very conscious about germs all it does is just roll down really neatly and it means you can access your baby without having to worry about that and it is a good height as well it's a really nice height for you to have baby close to you 
I have a question from Jodie. She asks, is the carry cot suitable for overnight sleeping? It is suitable for overnight sleeping. What a great question. Thank you. Um, and I nearly forgot that bit. Um, so thank you for reminding me. Uh, yes, it is suitable for overnight sleeping um, and it is approved for that. And I'm going to come on to the next bit now that's going to make even more sense about sleeping. So we've got our carry cot. When we want to take it off, there's a very clever little handle here just tucked inside it's like a squeezy lever and you put your thumb on the top and just squeeze and then you've got your handle in here that allows you to lift your carry cot now obviously they've put so much effort and design into this carry cot um it does actually weigh 5.6 kilos by the way so i know some of you like to know about weights of things um considering all the safety that is involved in the development of this and obviously the beautiful comfort for your baby it's actually it's not that heavy so also included and this is sold in the uk this will be coming from january by the way i forgot to say that earlier sorry um from january it's not here yet please don't get super excited well do get super excited but um, you can't buy this one we had all this the other day when people were saying can i come and buy it um sadly it's not here yet we have taken pre-orders and we will talk to you about that a little bit later so it will be sold in the uk as a complete bundle with everything you need and you will also get this really clever stand um, so this is to be used in your house because we love the idea as parents of getting maximum use out of everything you will be able to use your carry cot in your house rather than just use it when you're out if you arrive home maybe your baby's asleep you don't want to disturb them just take them into the house pop them on the stand that's ready for you maybe you can pop it in your lounge you could use it upstairs wherever you want to put them and then they can continue sleeping in peace and quiet without disturbing them i think that's a really really clever feature and it's included free in the bundle. I've had customers before who said that they've got dogs at home um, and it's quite a nice idea to keep, you know, baby, you know, a little bit elevated and away from like the animals and things like that. And again, I think that's a really nice use for in the house. Yeah, it is. And many companies who do make stands charge £100 extra. But this is included free in this package and obviously in the original one too. So let's have a quick look at our car seat, which again is included in this bundle. This is the Darwin eye size car seat. Um, it will come in matching colours. There will be three colours, and I will talk to you about those in a minute. Um, so they are included in the price, and it is an eye size car seat. It will go on to an eye size base. I haven't put the base out, Dave, because there was just too many pieces otherwise. But included in your bundle, you will get your eye size car seat and also your eye size base. And that base is what we call a modular base. That means once you have your base, when your child becomes a little older, and you've grown out of this car seat and this car seat will fit your child up to 13 kilos so it is quite a big car seat um you can then just buy the next stage piece to go onto your base which is a very very clever thing so while we've got our car seat out we'll have a closer look at it you can see inside here we have these gorgeous comfort pads to keep your baby snug now we know from all of the research that we need to keep babies quite tightly in their car seat. It's not tight, maybe it's the wrong word, but snug, because too much movement is a bad thing, particularly when babies are small. We need it to act like a crash helmet around baby because they're very precious and we need to protect them. And this easily does this with removable panels, all adjustable as your baby grows. So it's a great option and obviously incomes included in the price. No fittings or adapters on this to lose. It's very, very simple to take off your chassis. It's got quite an easy handle at the back here, which you just squeeze, uh, which allows you to take it on and off the, the chassis. Um, while I've got my chassis empty, let's have a closer look at the back of this. So we've got a nice, easy braking system on and off. And again, you could use that with open toed shoes. If you are wearing sandals, that will be easy to use. I really love this secret pocket at the back where you can just pop maybe your phone or something else um, if you just wanted to take a little thing out with you. And you can see that the basket size is a good size. It has got lots of space in it. Now, our chassis is actually quite compact considering that it is an all-terrain chassis. It is very compact. I've got a question from Chelsea. She asked, what types of terrain is this pram capable of handling? Well, they tell us it's suitable for all types of terrain. That's what Inglesina have told us, that it literally will go wherever you want it to go. Um, and I believe with the suspension, and we do have removable wheels, which I'm just coming to, um, it should actually be able to take that. Um, they are beautifully, beautifully made. There is a, a, a beautiful way in which Europeans um, make prams that they just put so much um, care into them. They, they just... 
they are very very good quality um we haven't had one back they've, they've been really really amazing quality and they've been making brands for such a long time they know what they're doing i think that's why it's taken a while to come to marketplace because they wanted to make absolutely certain that it was right um so yeah good question so if we measure our back wheels so this only measures i think probably 55 centimeters that's being overly cautious probably about 54 actually um it's very very compact considering the terrain that it's designed to go on and if you have if you live in places perhaps where your pathways are narrow um where you maybe have to get through narrow aisles or whatever it it's tremendously good and it just looks absolutely stunning all of these detailing in the bronze just beautiful i mean i'm a big fan of rose gold but but bronze is so is so universal it's so um non-gender specific and it, it just looks so smart against the black chassis now this will come in three colorways um and it will come this is the charcoal which i really really love it will also come in a gorgeous green I'm trying to find my fabric swatches now which i had earlier over here um which is called sequelia i probably haven't pronounced that right so if i haven't uh, I apologise, but that is gorgeous. I have ordered that colour for our shop floor because I think it is just stunning. I'm very excited about the green. We are, we're very excited. And, and I green. think it complements the, the copper, like the bronze, really, really well. Yeah, I think they all complement it, but yeah. the, the green is, is my favourite. Um, and Zoe loves green. Yeah. <laughs> and then we also have the Horizon Grey, which actually, now I've seen the fabric swatch, will probably be more saleable. I was worried when I first saw the pictures that maybe it was going to be a little bit too light, particularly as this design for an outdoor push chair for something that's going off road. Thought maybe that might be a bit too light, but actually that is also a really, really lovely colour. They will all come with the same colour chassis as this. And I know people are really going to love this colour chassis. So I'm going to go back to the chassis while we just look again at the detailing here. So we've got bronze on our folding, on our handle fold. We've got bronze detailing here. We've got bronze detailing down here and these. So I'm going to show you how to fold it up. I'm also going to show you in a minute how to fold it up with a seating on because this can be folded with a seating on. Very clever. So I'm just going to put my brake on. Super easy to do this with one hand. Button here and lift. Love this. Yes, Love really. it. When we demonstrate this in store, obviously we haven't demonstrated this because it only just arrived. When we demonstrate the normal Attica, people are quite wowed by this. Uh, we do have a new colour coming in the normal Attica as well. So to undo it, again, you really can do this with one hand. If you release this catch, literally all you do is pop it back up. That's it. That's that simple. Really, really easy to do. I'm just going to take my brake off. Now, I'm going to show you about the wheels. So we can take our wheels off. I haven't practised this one, so let's just check. This is my panicky moment when I actually haven't checked this because it's just arrived. But there is a little catch under here. Oh, there you go. So we can actually take our wheels off. I did find out how to do it. Um, all of the wheels will come off. They've all got little catches on. And this is quite important. If you've watched any of my other videos, if you want a push chair that is suitable for off-road, you do need to have something that has fully removable wheels. This is because if they do get caked in gunk or mud or sand or anything else, you need to be able to take them off clean them, lubricate them and put them back on. And that will be in your instruction manual. And it is really important if you want to maintain the life of it uh, as best you can. So let's have a look at the push chair seat unit now. because we've had a look at some of the other pieces. So this is the gorgeous, generous size seat unit. So I've got a question from Chelsea. She asked if the seat unit is bigger than some of the other popular brands such as I can do. Um, it has got a very big seat unit. Um, I haven't done a contrast and compare yet because literally this has just arrived but it is a very big seat unit um, European brands are known for the size of their seat unit it does have a 25 kilo weight limit um, so it is very generous um, it does come with its matching apron I'm just going to take this off so that you can see in more detail the size of the seat unit um, and there is an additional piece for the footrest which um, I haven't actually put on it but you can actually make the footrest longer um, Chelsea so it, it is very generous so if we have a look at our seat unit um, again, I'm going to grab my tape measure they do tell me it is a very very large seat unit um, and looking at it we've always found with the normal Ingusina 
say normal, the original Inglesina Aptica, that it does have a very big seat unit. Um, that's measuring about 52, 53 centimetres. But also when you put your hood over, if we have a look, our hood sits proud of the back. So actually you would get quite a lot of space out of this. Um, if I turn it round, hopefully you'll be able to see how big the seat unit is. Can you see that? Um, it is really, really good. So while we're having a look at this, we do have a pull out sun visor again, which, as you know, I really, really like. I think it's very, very handy. Um, parents don't normally have time to put parasols up. And in this country, we never know when the weather's going to be nice, do we? Goodness knows. So it's really, really nice that it's just there and very useful. Turn it round again. You can have a closer look at the back. I've got our ventilation panel. Obviously, we know that this is really important. And then we've got our little zip here, which does do to reveal an even bigger hood. So look at the size of that now. I mean, it's huge. And that's with our seat unit sitting right up. Um, so it will give you lots of coverage and you can pull down your sunscreen, which I think is absolutely excellent. I mean, really, really good coverage there. You wouldn't have to worry about sun protection, I think. And all of these fabrics, as we said, are SPF 50 protected. So it will keep your little one absolutely safe. So while we've got our hood out, I wanted to talk to you about the backrest. Now, this backrest is really clever. Most backrests that we have, in fact, this is the only one that has so many adjustments. Um, they say seven. I could only find six, but I may be missing one. But it is the most adjustable backrest that I have on my shop floor, as far as I know. So you can have it very upright. Now, we do get asked this by customers, particularly for off-road products. It's quite hard to find things that sit very upright. So this will sit upright, but it has multi-positions, as you can see, right down to the complete flat bed. So you can actually have your baby sleeping completely flat. If they fall asleep, you do have that option. We do have removable bumper bars. You can take these out. And obviously, our footrest is also adjustable, so we can adjust that. And our seat unit is both parent facing and world facing. So that's with our seat unit on. I think you can agree it looks beautiful. So if we want to take the seat unit off the chassis, it has a unique little catch underneath here. And all you do is squeeze and undo it. So if I turn it around so you can see what I was doing, all you do is squeeze on this and that will release it from our chassis. So if I turn it around so you can see it, facing the other way should really put my brake on while I'm doing that as you can see now we've got it world facing so if your baby wants to see what's going on really really easy to do one of the really really clever things about this is you can fold this up with the seat unit on now for an all-terrain push chair it really does fold incredibly cleverly so let's have a go and see if I can make this work bearing in mind we've only had it for such a short time see if I can make it work so put your seat unit right forward like this and then when you fold it up if I try to turn it this way you can see what I'm doing what we do is you press on your folding mechanism like this and it will literally just I should have locked my wheels but you can see how compact is that for an all-terrain pushchair the whole thing is folded up together so clever so clever. I'm so thrilled that we finally got this. Well, it, it will actually be coming in January. Um, so just to let you know that obviously we will have stocks of this. I've already pre-ordered it. And I have been told that up to six people who order this as a result of this video, we only have six, will get free matching changing bags. So if you, wanna, if you like nice. it, get in touch. You can put a deposit on one. Uh, we don't ask for full payment if it's not in stock. So to put it back out, we've got our little catch again on the side here. Literally just press it in like this literally pop it back up i mean it really really is that easy it is that easy and i've got a bad back and i can do it so it's really clever i have a question from rachel she asks um do you have product photos of the other colors difficult to tell from the fabric swatch yes what we'll do rachel is we will post this when we post our edited version we will put some pictures up so you can see them as you say the fabric swatches are very tiny what i'll do is i will bring the fabric swatches to the camera so, can you see that? Yep, that's a horizon grey. And this, if I've said it correctly, is sequelia green. I really like that one. 
we'll send you photos. It just the, the color doesn't show exactly no. how it would be on the camera, but it gives you the, the idea. But yeah, we'll send photos across and uh, we'll put them on the edited version as well. We do actually have some lifestyle pictures yeah. um, that we can send you. Um, and also, I think if you have a look on our Facebook page, we have already previewed some where we've actually printed, particularly the green, which is in some of the lifestyle photos already. Um, so this will be purchased as a bundle. You will get complete everything you need. So you will get your chassis, your carry cot, your absolutely gorgeous stand, your Darwin car seat and your ice fix base. And it will be launch price 1149. 1149 for everything for this type of quality pram everything included for 1149 oh and you get your apron as well i forgot about this one so you get your push jet apron included such good value absolutely amazing value i know there's going to be a big demand for it so if you are interested in this if you would like to book an appointment if you want to come in and see it in person uh, we will have this arriving in January, I'm not quite sure how long we're going to be allowed to keep this one. I'm not sure if we'll still have it when um, when the uh, the original ones come in. But we do message us. Message us by any of our channels and we'll try and help you as much as we can. Uh, I believe we have one more question. So are rain covers included? So the rain cover that comes with it is only a frontal for the seat unit. Um, I would advise in this country you will need a carry cot PVC. Um, and also some of our customers to prefer to buy the full PVC for the push chair. Um, there is also a separate car seat for the a separate rain cover for the car seat as well. Um, I have another question as well. How does this compare to the original Aptico? So basically the top pieces are very similar. Um, pretty much I would think if you if you strip down the fabrics, they'll be the same. The difference really comes to your chassis. Now your your Ingles in original chassis it still does have suspension. You can have a look at the original uh, videos that we've done. But this is really more designed for people who have a very outdoor lifestyle. We actually think people will buy this not because they have an outdoor lifestyle because they love the colors and the colors are gorgeous. Um, and they will appeal to a different set of customers because they are more um, uh, outdoor colors. They're more. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of the right word. They're more sort of like, um, I can't think of the right word now. That's unusual for me. But they are quite outdoor colours there. They're all gorgeous. Um, not that the colours on the um, original Aptica are, but they're just different. So we all have some people, and, and some people also love it because of the black chassis. And we're here at Baby Lady, we do love a black chassis. Our customers really like a black chassis. They like um, this type of handle. So some people will purchase it because of that, not just because obviously of what it's designed for. I've got a question from Jordan that says, is the carry cot the only um, the only piece that will go on the stand? No, all of the pieces go on the stand. Excellent question. Um, thank you for asking that. So they will all go on the stand. Uh, the car seat will go on the stand. The seat unit, which I had on there at the beginning of this video, will also go on the stand. And the stand does fold up really compactly. So if you do need to take it away with you, um, all you need to do is just fold it up like this. Um, and as you can see, it's super compact. I have a question from Rachel. It says, thank you. Sorry, another question. Yeah, no, of course. What is the lead time on ordering if we order now? Will this arrive in January? Yes, we are, have been told that we've, we've already pre-ordered some for January. Um, and if you do order as a result of this live, we'll put a little code. I don't know quite how we're going to do it. I haven't really thought that one through, had I? Because um, we only have six to give away. Six sets of bags to give away. Um, and um, they will come in January so as far as we are aware that they are on schedule for production um, as we speak. So this is this is actually a proper production model. It's just the first one in the UK. And thanks to our lovely friends at Ingrathena, because it's actually being previewed to the trade this afternoon at three o'clock. So we got it first. We got it even before the trade preview it, which is very, very exciting. Uh, and baby lady, you see it here first. See it here first. I have a comment from Lou on Facebook that says gorgeous. It is gorgeous, isn't it, Lou? You're so right. You're so right. And I think this is a good moment as, before we finish up just to uh, mention about our gift of giving. Yes, absolutely. Um, I forgot, I forgot to mention that because there's so much on here. So what we're doing, we always do this and we have recorded a separate video that goes into more detail. Um, this time of year, we normally do it in store, but we are also offering it to people who order online or over the phone. Uh, we give If you order a pram from us up until the 20th of December, we will give you a £10 note, a £10 note. And what we ask you to do is we ask you 
to give it to someone, to make someone's day, to make someone's life a little bit more special. It's called our gift of giving because we believe, it, particularly with what's going on at the moment, we do this every year, but it's even more relevant this year. Let's bring a little sunshine, bring a little bit of happiness to other people. You don't have to do that, but that's what we ask. And we will be running some sort of competition. Um, if people want to send us how they've managed to use that money to make people's lives happier, you can you can send those in to us uh, via any of the normal social channels. You don't have to do that. You can keep it completely anonymous. Um, you don't have to say publicly because some people don't like to mention what they've done. Hopefully that covers that. But do look at the separate video about gift of giving, which is on our Facebook and also on our YouTube channel. Uh, it is please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're watching on our YouTube channel. OK, so um, is there any more questions before we go? Susan says, fabulous. Always see the premium upcoming prams on oh, the baby lady. Thank you, Susan. Thank you for your lovely comments. I'm really glad you're watching today, Susan. We really appreciate that. I hope you're having a good day. So I would just like to wrap up by saying a huge thank you to our friends at Inglesina for very, very kindly letting us borrow this absolutely gorgeous Aptica XT. It is stunningly beautiful um, in the flesh and we were so excited to have it. So if you have got any more questions, feel free to message us later. We'll put the edited version of this up online later today. Thanks for watching everyone. Thanks for tuning in and have a brilliant day.